Coming up on Access USI. USI students took pictures with an alien from Area 51. The McCutcheon Art Gallery presented some creative art about the body. Many young people take to the streets internationally and global strike over climate change. The USI community linked up for health examinations. Access USI starts now. Welcome to Access USI. I'm Deja Stowe. And I'm Jana Garrett. Some students all over the world have ditched their books and are participating in a global climate strike. The reason for this strike is to bring attention to the damage of the environment caused by fossil fuels, as well as bringing overall attention to the climate crisis. This movement started in Sweden and has made its way to the United States. The strike started on the 20th and will continue until Friday. The 2019 USI Wellness Fair was held today at Carter Hall on campus from 8.30 a.m. this morning until 3 p.m. this afternoon. Students and faculty had the chance to take advantage of free health screenings and they received valuable information on health and wellness along with free giveaways and treats. All you needed to attend with the, the Wellness Fair was a valid Eagle Access card. Cameron, Cameron will be on with the weather after the break. The most important step in a person's journey of choosing a school is the campus visit. We want you to be a part of the organization that welcomes these students and shows them the friendly faces, excellent facilities, and the beautiful campus that the University of Southern Indiana has to offer. Faces of the Student Ambassador Organization are some of the first that new students and families will see at USI. They are crucial to the university. Student Ambassadors, welcoming Screaming Eagles to their new home. And welcome back. I'm Cameron Dulles with a look at your Access USI weather forecast. Currently right now, our temperatures across the Tri-State sitting mainly in the 70s. 78 degrees right now in Evansville, Owensboro at 79 and 80 degrees right now in Hartford, Kentucky at this hour. And right now, 78 degrees here in Evansville. A few spotty showers moving throughout the area and our winds out of the west southwest at 3 miles per hour. We're expecting the shower chances to increase going through the overnight. The best chance will be throughout the early morning hours, but they'll be moving out rather quickly as we move into the day on Thursday. They will be heading out uh, leading us dry weather. We're 66 degrees for an overnight low tonight. North northwest winds at three miles per hour and then a much drier day intact for your Thursday but, and uh, cooler temperatures as well. 79 for a high. Enjoy it while it lasts because we're going to rebound right back to the mid to upper 80s heading in through the rest of the week. And you'll note that here on your seven day forecast. Notice those temperatures will be rapidly climbing back up to the upper 80s by the weekend. And that also comes with a chance for a few rain showers, only a 30% chance both Saturday, Sunday. And then we'll see things begin to dry out going into the beginning of next week. And our temperatures will be holding steady into the mid to upper 80s as we go throughout the beginning and middle of next week. We're back with sports with Josh Bunch after the break. I'm Chase Evans. This semester we had a really big Smash tournament, we had a really big Rocket League tournament, and then we've kind of been trickling with some Fortnite and uh, bouncing between a few games. The Southern Indiana Esports Association is your place to get connected with other students around campus. And we hope next semester to go even harder, especially with introducing new games and getting more people involved. The Southern Indiana Esports Association. Come out and play.
Welcome back to this USI Sports Break. I'm Stuart Brooking. The USI volleyball team lost all three sets versus Trevecca University last night. The Eagles lost their first set 25-11 and started off slow in the second as, as they were down by six early. The Eagles fought back, but the early deficit was too much to overcome and they lost the set 25-20. The Eagles again couldn't get anything going in the third and lost 25-18. The women will travel to Missouri on Friday to play William Jewell at 7. The USI women's soccer team will host two home and GOVC games this weekend. The women kick off the first game versus Linwood University on Friday at 5. Then on Sunday, the women play the University of, play University of Missouri of St. Louis. The women are led by junior forward Maggie Winter, who keeps climbing up the record books. She is top 10 in points and is one point away from ninth place. She will look to get that point this weekend. The women's tennis team was able to snag 18 wins as they opened the season at the EIU invite. The women were led by Kylie Sne Kepsnick as she posted a 3-0 record and ended up with the team high for wins in the tournament with four. The women are in action next on October 11th and 12th. Jana and Deja will be back with the news after the break. Being a student isn't easy. That's why grabbing every chance to have some fun is important. And it's never been easier than with Cinema USI. On Thursdays and Saturdays, you can come by, sign in with your student ID, and enjoy a free new movie. Get your free popcorn, free drink, and a chance to win cool prizes before the movie starts. After you've won your prize, just sit back and enjoy the film. Cinema USI, film for free. Last Friday, an intergalactic visitor visited the USI campus. Access USI reporter Josh Bunch has more on that story. Underneath the University Center breezeway, students got the chance to make first contact with something out of this world. Inspired by the Raid Area 51 event, the Activities Programming Board held an alien meet and greet for free. The alien was glad to pose for pictures and let UFO enthusiasts try their hand at the claw machine. Do you believe in UFOs? Um, I have to. We've got a real alien right here, so... Why weren't you at the Area 51 raid? I had class today, couldn't be... Plus, I had to escort this alien, so we're here today. For Access USI, I'm Josh Bunch. The McCutcheon Art Gallery displayed some art revolving around the body and identity. Access USI reporter Chris Taylor has more on that story. The McCutcheon Art Center was full of interesting pieces of art today, as it was the host of pieces made by Amanda Smith and Tanya Togerson. Many of the pieces ranged from different styles of the quilts presented to unique displays of the body. Assistant Professor Tanya Togerson proclaims that her art is inspired by how the body works and how our identities are strongly intertwined with each other. From her art alone, you can see the inspiration is present for her art. Even though the styles of the artists are different, the work presented was a marvelous display of how creative an artist can be. Reporting for Access USI, I'm Christopher Taylor. And that was your Access USI News. Tune in next week for more. Have a nice evening.